Lexington will soon be home to a new professional theater company. Yeah, and it's called The Lex, mm -hmm. and a kickoff concert is this weekend. Who else but Deanne mm -hmm. Stevens out and about today at the Lexington Opera House with more. Hi, Deanne. Good afternoon, guys, from the Lexington Opera House. All nice and quiet in here right now, but tomorrow it won't be. They're preparing for concert with the stars. We have Lindy and Jeremy with us. You guys know a little bit about the Lexington Opera House being up there on that stage. Big event this weekend. Absolutely. We have concert with the stars. It's tomorrow night, Saturday, 8 o'clock here at the Opera House. We're launching our new theater company, the Lexington Theater Company, and we have three amazing Broadway celebrities to be with us to celebrate. Why did you guys decide to put the Lex together, Jeremy? Um, we really want to pay it forward. We learned um, a lot from pr working in theaters like this, mm -hmm. and we think that this will be a great training ground for young performers and also a wonderful thing for Linton. You two yourself have been on Broadway. Who are you kidding? You're <laughs> quite the experienced ones. And experience is key when it comes to putting something together like this. Absolutely, absolutely. We, um, we feel very fortunate that we've had a lot of different experiences, both per as performers, directors, choreographers, managers, and uh, so we're Hoping to bring all of that together for the Lex and also to create some great experiences for the folks who are going to be with us on stage and in the audience. So, some great entertainment from Lex for Lexington and also for these young college students who are just getting their foot in the door, some amazing connections and experience for them. Okay, let's talk about some amazing performers that grew up right here in Lexington, like this beautiful young lady. Miss Laura Bell Bundy is with us, and you are one of the performers for tomorrow's concert with the stars. Yes, I am. Talk about being on that stage right here at the Lexington Opera House, growing up in Lexington, and how important the arts has been for you now you see that. Well, actually, I did the Nutcracker on this stage when I was four. I was a mouse, <laughs> and, uh, and then I was a puppet princess at Eight right. and a sugar plum fairy attendant, <laughs> and I did Annie here and Sound of Music. So I had a lot of my very first um, theatrical experiences here on this stage, and uh, and and to me, they they was it's the, still the same feeling, the same feeling I had as a child performing on this stage in front of this audience is the exact same feeling I had performing. On a Broadway stage, it's the same feeling. It's the and that started then. So um, it's exciting to come back tonight and um, and and do a do a show for people. You're going to be performing tomorrow night, eight oh, o'clock. Tomorrow or tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, tomorrow night. That's okay. I know You're, that whole LA time, Lexington time's a little bit different. What are you going to be doing tomorrow night? Um, I'm kind of taking um, a journey down memory lane of of my career and the songs that influenced my life as well as the artists and uh, celebrities that influenced my life a little You're bit. You're going to dress up like a mouse again? No, but I'll be <laughs> dressing up as something else, so you should definitely come. We can't wait to see it. Tomorrow night, tickets are still available. You can get them at the Lexington Opera House box office, 8 o'clock tomorrow night, the launch of The Lex. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about at the Lexington Opera House.